again be interesting and at some point heated debate, members of both sides of the House gave their views on the suggested amendments to the legislation. The nation's leader assures the public that new amendments will make the initiative a more regulated program. One of the key new components will be the establishment of a board which will oversee the operations of the program and lend assistance to the citizenship by investment unit. The board will ensure that we insulate the minister from any claim of collusion and I would say any act of unintegrity so that I don't want a body cover to put me or any future minister under any pressure and say let's do this deal, we fill our pockets and then we leave the people behind. So guess what, we're enshining it in law. It must go to the board. Now, moving right along, clause 2 provides for a definition of the board as being the Citizenship by Investment Board set up under the Act. And it also takes the opportunity of giving flexibility to the Prime Minister to delegate his ministerial authority. And I want to emphasize here, to delegate ministerial authority and not ministerial responsibility. The Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Economy and Corporate Governance will retain responsibility for the program, a decision that he says is in the best interest a member of the board shall hold office for a period of three years from the date of his appointment and shall be eligible for reappointment. If the, if the chairman or any other member of the board is unable to act, the minister may appoint a person to act in the place of the chairman or another member. A member of the board, other than the chairman, may at any time resign his office by instrument in writing addressed to the minister and transmitted through the chairman. The chairman may at any time resign his office by instrument in writing addressed to the minister. The minister may, on the application of a member in writing, grant leave of absence, etc. The citizenship by investment program was developed by the former United Progressive Party administration based on discussions with the then opposition leader. In an interesting twist of debate, Opposition United Progressive Party leader Bernie Spencer began his presentation detailing how the now ABLP administration has chastised the program when the United Progressive Party was in power. He added that he is now happy to see that the same administration recognizes the full potential of the initiative. In addressing the amendments, Spencer has this to say in reference to the establishment of the CIB board. The idea of the board being put in place? Well, it's, it's a question of approach. We, at the time, felt that the unit, as established with these competent people, and with cabinet oversight, through the minister responsible for the CIP, would be a workable mechanism. This is not to suggest that the idea of a board is totally out of, out of the whack. But at the time, we felt that it was necessary for us to approach it from that standpoint.